Terry from AB Event Hi, and today I'm going to show you how to set up and use one of our shaping dishes for your event. Now these are amazing, they are just fantastic for keeping your food warm. We're not cooking food, it's to keep them warm. So I'm just going to explain what each piece of equipment is, so then when I'm talking about it, setting it all up, you'll know what I mean. So this is the rack, this is the shaping rack, and here we have the water tank. This sits inside here. Then inside the water tank is the dish which the food goes in. You can either have a full dish or you can have two half dishes. Depending, depending on what you're keeping warm, we have the lid over here. We also have the fuel containers and the gel fuel which will go in here, which go into the rack. You also need some boiling water and a lighter stick. Before you start, you need to make sure, for safety reasons, that wherever you want your food to be served from, this needs to be in place. So for example, if we were having a party here in the kitchen, then we would probably put it on the island. You can't lift it once it's all set up, just because it's going to have boiling water and it can have a naked flame. So for safety reasons, you need to keep it you need to set it up, sorry, where it's going to be. Okay, so to start with, you need to get the little fuel pots and you need to put the fuel inside here. Now we do, you can purchase these from us. You can, you need to take the lid off of these and they're designed for the lid to go back on if you don't use all of it. I'm just going to use a knife to pop up. It's quite thick. So once that's open, put that in there, and you put the top on, pushing it down so it really stays there, actually quite tricky to take off. And you will see that this has got a lid and it opens and closes. With these, you can regulate the heat, so because you can move this at the top, you can decide how much heat you want to come up. So once you have got those in place, you then need to put the water tank in. So this is your water tank, and you want to fill this up, maybe like a quarter of the way, about an inch and a half. Don't take this to the boiling water, take the boiling water to here, so imagine, I've got my boiling water in here. I haven't, but for the sake of this. So you're going to fill it up. So you've got your water in here now. You now need to light this. So we're keeping everything in place. We're not moving it around. So you now need to light the gel underneath. So you move, you can slide open one, slide open the tops of these. And then you just get your lighter stick And there we go. And there we go. Your heat, the heat will now start to come through to keep your food warm. Then you need to put, you can either fill these with your food and then place them in or you can place these in and then put your food in. It's totally up to you. So the beauty with these is you can either have like two small dishes or you can have one big one. It's totally depending on what you have. And then once your food is in here, you use your lid to cover it up and it will stay warm. Voila! Okay. And then, when you need to get to the food, you take the lid off. I can feel the heat on that already. This is amazing. And then, when you want to control the heat or turn it off, you just move the lid over the top of the gas and it will turn it off. You do not need to blow it out. You just need to move the lid over the top and it will take the flame out. 
Then when you want to um, pour the water out, you obviously need to wait for it to be cool. So you can either use gloves to remove these, but you'll have to make sure that the water is cool before you transport it to the kitchen and make sure that these are not too hot and um, making sure that the rack isn't hot either. So just please bear that in mind. So there we go, I hope that made sense. I'm just going to show you the different varieties of shaving dishes that we have um, and also an electric one. So here we go.